obligatory disclaimer up front. TikTok has been muting or taking down some of our videos within minutes of them being posted. So if you're watching this video on TikTok, I want to point out that this video is available on our YouTube channel as well. I'm also adding captions for the disclaimer in case it does get muted. Now that we got that out of the way, what's up Family Liberty and everybody else watching this video who isn't following our channel for some inexplicable reason? It's your boy Big Sarge or the artist formerly known as Admin Tim, founder of the Sons of Liberty. If you're new to this channel, fuck Trump and fuck MAGA. This ain't no safe space for bootlicking simps for a wish.com wannabe fascist oligarch. Before I begin today's rant, I need to say something. I don't give a fuck what your opinions are on the Biden administration and the genocide in Palestine. If you don't go out and vote for the one candidate with the best possible chance of defeating Trump, you're risking Trump getting into office. And I can assure you, whatever grievance you had with Joe Biden not stopping Israel from bombing civilians, it will fucking pale in comparison to the horror that will be unleashed on Palestine and Ukraine and other places around the world. This might very well be the last free and fair election that we see for a long time. I'm a single issue voter of Family Liberty and my issue is motherfucking democracy. It is not hyperbole to say that the ballot is literally democracy or fascism. It's not hyperbole to say that countless Palestinians have raised their voices and told you specifically on video their best chance of survival is for you to vote for Harris and Walls. Now, if Trump wins and you decided not to vote, then I hope you're able to get a good night's sleep when Palestinians and Ukrainians are dying in even greater numbers. But don't come to my page talking about, oh, Big Sarge, what do we do now? Can we rise up? Now, nah, motherfucker, don't look to me for leadership. When the revolution begins again, don't be anywhere near my fucking foxhole. My people do their part, point blank. All right, now on with the show. Last night, we had a badass live stream on YouTube with Ryan and Mike from the veteran-owned businesses Tip of the Spear and Outside the Wire. The live stream has been uploaded to our YouTube channel. I also posted a blistering takedown of Donald Trump, once again further denigrating veterans. So I wake up this morning riding high on a wave of good feelings, and then I start getting pinged by Gmail, telling me that I'm getting massive amounts of messages. I got about 10 absolutely unhinged messages in the Etsy message inbox from a guy who I'm not going to name or otherwise identify. We'll just call him Bobby. Bobby called me a scam and a grifter, called me an effing poop licker, that's a direct quote, who is pretending to be a true American. There are a lot of insults that went on here over the span of about seven minutes, including tough guy, punk, and junior. He also claimed that I hacked his computer and inserted Etsy adware onto his computer or some bullshit. Now, I don't know how many of you out there sell stuff on Etsy, but if you do, you know you're basically obligated to respond to the messages, especially when they use the report a problem with your order function. Ever since I started using Etsy, it's been largely problematic for me, but I keep on doing it because patriotic swag for liberals and progressives is apparently my niche. Anyway, so I read through this absolute bombastic firestorm of petty insults, and Bobby apparently claims he ordered a shirt on accident. Given the tone of his messages, I figure he probably mistook us for that other Sons of Liberty group, the white supremacist incels who helped storm the U.S. Capitol on January the 6th. But I didn't lose my shit. I didn't accuse him of anything. I had replied, and maybe I was a little sarcastic when I summed up his issue, but I didn't blow my top or let it go to my head. Yes, that's a ZZ Top reference. And by the way, when ZZ Top sings that line, it's about a blowjob and skeet skeetin' in some girl's mouth. So Bobby writes back with this massively long wizard's tome about how he's just mad that he's getting Etsy spam in his email inbox and that he thought he'd slide into my store DMs just to mess with Etsy to try and get their attention. Look, if you know anything about the internet at all, enough to go onto someone's Etsy store and order a shirt, then you ought to know better than that. And why insult me repeatedly and directly instead of insulting Etsy? So I politely point out the illogical nature of cursing me out in my store inbox when your beef is with Etsy, and I move on. I then proceed to list a number of options on how he might possibly solve his spam issue. This motherfucker comes back with more insults and blames me for his continued woes and tries to make me out to be the bad guy. Says I should be able to handle it since I make rant videos verbally abusing MAGA. Says I basically sold out by creating a company and then outsourcing my store to Etsy or some shit. I don't know. This gaslighting motherfucker says he's going to send me my shirt back. He also expresses lament for having given me his phone number and address which is like a really wild insinuation. I explained to the guy, you can't really send the shirt back to me. I'm not over here in my house in my living room with a shirt printing press stamping, die mad about it on black shirts. I use a printing service. And then I'm like, okay, so you need to provide your address so that you can receive something in the mail. That's how e-commerce works. But to insinuate that I'm gonna risk criminal charges, getting deplatformed off Etsy for violating your privacy, that's just like, you know what, fuck you, bro. I'm sending your money back. I also wanna point out 
that if I'm refunding you on Etsy of my own free will, I'm losing money because not only am I out every penny that you paid, but I'm also racking up additional fees on my end. So yeah, I just paid a guy to keep my shirt for more than what he paid for it because I don't want or need your business if you're going to treat me like shit over something that isn't even remotely my fault. I don't even make a lot of money selling shirts. I'm definitely not making much more than like a 5 or a 10% profit. Look, yes, I caught rant videos cursing out MAGA traders. You know what I don't do? I don't attack people that didn't deserve it. I don't challenge the integrity of a business owner who didn't do anything wrong. I don't go into, say, a closed McDonald's and scream at the cashier because the fry pit guy wasn't wearing a hairnet or gloves, getting his syphilitic senility all over my fresh fries. Yes, that's a Trump reference. This video isn't to put someone on blast, nor is it for me to boo-hoo about someone being mean to me. I handled my end of the interaction reasonably professionally. I didn't curse him out or slam him, and I refunded the dude just because I clearly didn't earn his business or his loyalty. And frankly, I don't want that kind of customer or follower. Like, there's no way you're part of the family of liberty because if you, like Bobby, watch all my videos and get the impression that my core values include shitting on a business owner or a retail worker just because I swear a little bit in front of a camera, then buddy, you greatly misunderstood something. Treat retail people with respect. Don't be a fucking cunt to someone when your issue isn't with them. That is some Karen levels of bullshit. And I'm sorry for all the women named Karen who have to put up with that stigma now. Like, if you can't manage your anger, you need fucking therapy, bro. And if you disclose in your massive wizard's tone that everyone thinks you're obnoxious because you do this a lot to dominate a conversation and get your way, then I hate to be the one to point it out to you, but you're the lowest common denominator in this equation. It's not everyone else being sensitive. It means you're a prick. Throw the fuck up, Bobby, since I know you're probably watching this video. And by the way, how did that exchange end? I very politely told him to contact Etsy for further support because after the refund, our business is concluded. And then I moved his tirade to the fucking spam folder, which I discovered is how you block a motherfucker on Etsy. New disclaimer, if you want big stars to rep your business to the tens of thousands of people who follow us on YouTube and TikTok, send me a shirt or something. My contact info is in the channel description. Other disclaimers, if you like the shirts and hoodie that I wear during my videos, some of them, but not all of them, are available in the Sons of Liberty merch store, which is linked in the channel description. It's also in the YouTube video description, and it's in the throat punch at the end of our video. But don't come at me in the store DMs, I will butt fuck your soul. You can hang out with the Sons of Liberty admin team on our official Discord. As per my last, that's also linked in all those places that I mentioned. It doesn't matter if you're a gamer or not, Discord has a lot of different functions. We got channels for games, but we've also got channels for general fuckery or for you to show off your pets or your vacation. You can also use the Breaking News channel to keep us informed of stories that you think we need to cover. If you like our content, then we'd appreciate it if you'd follow us on all the socials, whichever ones that you've got. We'd also appreciate it if you'd subscribe, like, and get notifications on our channel. It's a little bit of a different process on TikTok, but if you're on TikTok, then you already know that. You can help us extend our reach by sharing our video content. And you can help us beat the algorithm by leaving us at least seven words in the comments. Why seven words? I get that question a lot, so I included it in my disclaimers. Somebody determined that seven was the magic number for the algorithm. That's why. If anything I said in my videos upset you or otherwise offended you, I don't care. You can lay your prayers and concerns at the altar of St. Thuapap from whose holy book we learned the lesson of Admin Tim 316. Get fucked and die mad about it. Hashtag not sorry, not sorry. Two claps and a rick. Don't be a little shit to retail workers. Woo! And now it's time for the throw punch! I explained to this dude, look, you can't send me the shirt back. I'm not over here in my house, in my fucking living room, making... Press fucking shirts. <laughs>